We are not far away from lacrosse season, and they are especially excited at one Connecticut college. Fairfield has been competing at the highest level in men's and women's lacrosse, and soon they'll have a facility that will be consistent with their play. This is going to become the main side. So there's going to be 2,000 seats here with all like the press and the luxury suites up top. Okay. And then uh, visiting team room is going to be at this far end. As you can tell, the coaches are pretty fired up about this, and why not? Not only are the men's and women's teams getting a new luxurious home, they're getting a valuable tool. I think it's probably the, the key for us to make the next step, both uh, the men's program and women's program in the top 20 right now. And to get to that top 10 and make that national championship, the final four, you need a facility, you really do. I, I think if you just look at, the, at college lacrosse over the course of the last five years, you look at some of the facilities that have emerged, and uh, you know it's kind of like an arms race at this level, like institutions are just constantly trying to one-up the next guy. And Fairfield will put itself right in the thick of that race with this new stadium. It will seat 3,500, include a gracious entrance, concessions, concourse, and a visitor's locker room. And they're going to take that whole, that side over there and push into the hill, re-landscape it so the townhouses above it can see the field. So it's going to kind of merge the stadium with the rest of the campus here. Kind of similar schools to Fairfield. I'm not sure that they're going to have the luxury of having a lacrosse-only facility right in the middle of campus like we're going to have when this thing's finalized. And you can be sure the coaches are taking advantage of that fact. You think they've shown recruits this video? Every single one of them. Not only will the new facility be a centerpiece for athletics at Fairfield, they'd like to open it up, host major college events, and bring in high school and youth tournaments, which, in addition to the success of both teams, it will make Fairfield a lacrosse destination. In, in all candor, I mean, this has kind of been an eyesore for, for quite some time right now, so all of a sudden you, you button some of that stuff up and yeah. you make an already beautiful campus even more beautiful, and you're making a statement. Well, they've gotten approval, and they hope to have the facility done by 2015.